what is going on guys is Bucky and welcome to your 17th program tutorial I think it's the 17th and you know I never know what tutorial it is but anyways um I got my air conditioner on so I'm in a good mood I'm ready to make tutorials now and in this tutorial we're gonna be going over decision making now one cool thing about programming is every computer program that we're gonna build has the potential to make decisions so it does this using a special statement called the if statement and how this works is you give it a statement that can either be true or false if it's true it runs a bit of code if it false got like cheeseburger in my teeth if it's false it either runs another bit of code or it doesn't do anything at all so let me give you guys an example and then it'll all make sense to you trust me so say you're making a dating website yeah that's what we're gonna do so let me see what time it is so say we have the first person in we'll say we have this girl Hannah and she's 15 and say we have another person maybe they're perfect match maybe not so we have Hannah who's 15 that's a variable we have in Tim who is let's say 37 so we have two variables right now one for each person on our website and our boss comes in and he's like alright I want you to check to make sure the girl is um, younger than the guy. Say We say, all right, let me use my new syntax that I'm about to learn to make this happen. What you need to do is there's a special keyword in Objective-C called if. And as you can see the outline right here, you put if and right after it, in parentheses, you write the condition. And the condition is what do you want to test for? So let's go ahead and write parentheses and write all right if Tim is less than Hannah so if the guy is less than the girl actually let's go ahead and write this if Hannah if the girl is less than the guy what do you want to happen well now you give a statement so ns log at just put like game time so if the girl is less than the guy then it's good to go even though in this situation 1537 I should probably write something else but for now let me just build this and show you guys what happens save all and it says game time right here so in this situation what happens well you give your computer a test using the if statement and this is a um condition which could be either true or false Hannah is less than Tim since that statement is true or since that condition is true the statement after it executes fully now let's go ahead and change this up a bit if Tim is less than Hannah let's go ahead and build and run this save all and now you see running zero nothing happened so in this case scenario Tim was greater than Hannah so this evaluated as false so that's why this didn't run so this is a really basic way of using the if statement to give it a test and if the test is true you output a bit of code but if the test is false then nothing happens but there are certain situations where you're gonna say alright I'm gonna give you a test if it's true I want you to do this if it's false I just don't want you to quit working I want you to do something else so that gives you a little bit more freedom so let's go ahead and do that so let's go ahead and change this if Hannah is less than Tim let's change this to something a little more appropriate 27 I mean it, it won't matter but you know it just makes me feel better inside um alright so if Hannah is indeed less than Tim we want you to say game time now if Hannah is greater than Tim instead of just quitting the program altogether we're gonna give you another option this is called the else statement and what the else statement is is it's this if this first test evaluates is true run this but if evaluates is false then instead of just going on we're gonna give you something else to run right here so in essence either this statement or this statement that we didn't make it is gonna run there is no possible way that both the statement can be true and false really there isn't unless you're like what is life 
Is that true? Hmm. True or false? Don't know. Anyways, I'm just kidding. Don't even... That probably just confused you. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, NS log. Let's write something uh, funny here. And that's not funny. Computer errors are not funny. So if Hannah is less than Tim, then write game time. But if the guy is older, then write no way, old man. Hmm, easy enough. So let's go ahead and build and run this. And we'll give it both situations see what happened. It says game time. And why does this happen? Because it said, all right, I'm going to test this. Since Hannah is indeed less than Tim, I'm going to output game time. But let's switch this up a little bit using a greater than sign. If Hannah is greater than Tim, do game time. And since this is false, then it says, all right, since this test is false, I'm going to run the code in the else statement and say, no way, old man. So let's run this, save it, and now you see no way old man so one last time let me uh, explain to you guys what is happening right here you give it a simple test right after the if and it can either be true or false if it's true then it's gonna run this if it's false it's gonna run your else and by the way these little brackets anytime you have one line of code you don't need these brackets um, even though they are optional with only one line, but most people prefer not to have them. For example, if you delete these brackets, your program is still going to build and run fine, just like that. No way, old man. Um, the thing is, whenever you have more than one line of code, uh, say you want to output three things, control V, control V, let me uh, make that nice and neat you need uh, these curly braces and what this means is a block of code so let's say if Hannah is less than Tim you can write like game time go get her and um, she's single that might be something you have on a dating website so now if we build and run this that way you can output more than uh, one line of code so pretty cool right there and so again just uh, make that point clear whenever you have more than one uh, statement you want brackets if you only have one it's optional or not you know just to be safe put brackets all the time and then you won't even get confused about that but check this out if you have three statements right there without uh, your brackets and then when you try to save it and run it it's gonna say failed right here epic fail I'm gonna send that to fail blog right now but anyways, um, the basics I want to teach you guys is if the if statement, and you give it a test. If it's true, do what's under the if. If it's false, do what's under the else. So in the next tutorial, I'll build a program that actually uh, makes sense and um, is a little bit more useful than just this makeshift dating website that we made. Uh, but for now, thank you guys for watching. You go ahead and uh, make your own dating websites. And I'm going to go ahead and watch Dateline to catch a predator. So, again, thank you guys one last time. Don't forget to check out my blog and don't forget to subscribe.